What's good, everyone? We back. Yep. Bully and the Beast podcast. That's who we are. This is L'Oreal. It's Wax, yo. What's good with y'all? And Wax <laughs> is buying a birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you want to start off? He specifically told me not to talk about it. <laughs> I literally just I said, we're not talking about this. I don't know what's going on. Well, it's his girlfriend's birthday. This is how y'all want to do this. This is how y'all want to start this off. <laughs> right, T. Diddy? It's his, Early. It's, it's his girlfriend's birthday, whoever this may be. I don't know anything. I, I said, think I said a... birthdays is in the, in the air. So I just got to make sure that, you know... If you seeing somebody or you talking to anybody, of course, Wax got somebody or is out there. <laughs> that birthday just so happened to be this week. No, no, it just it, I mean it's a weeks or days or months or hours or whatever. You know, say I'm not telling the exact time, but you know it's good to <laughs> you know try to try to find out from other women what to get just to get girls. So I gave you so many great advice and yeah, you told me... Yeah, everything was expensive as a motherfucker. I'm no. like, I got chickens in, in back of my house. I got to f- buy the organic feed. You now, got you mad jobs, businesses. You got to have a couple that, dollars. They, they got to get pushed. They got money. got to be pushed back into it. I ain't going... I ain't got just 3500 5000 just to be going to throw on that. You know how many birds that is? You said you wanted to give her uh, just a vibrator. No, I ain't say a yeah. vibrator. I said oh vibrator. My God. I said vibrator, edible arrangements, and flowers. Don't nobody do boo. <laughs> that's a whack ass <laughs> gift, my nigga. And like, even so, like that's not like some Valentine's Day shit. Nah, man. For yeah, birthdays, that's listen, Valentine's Day. Listen, it all depends on now. If your dude, I feel like if your dude go ahead and start giving you big gifts, he don't want you no not too much longer because every dude know when he know he want to be with you forever. He starts the gifts from real low. The first gift he's supposed to give you just of one flower or a pair of sneakers from like Payless or something like that. First of all, when's the be last you time you've been to Payless? I haven't been to Payless. <laughs> You're such a piece of shit. <laughs> you're a liar, yeah. But I'm saying you start really low, so every year you know you're gonna get high. But one day I'm gonna get her that bitly if I'm with her for fifty years. You know what I'm saying? One day. This nigga ain't giving. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm with you for fifty years, like you could get the Bentley. That bitch gonna die waiting for that Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I still get to keep my money. If she died, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so we did brilliant idiots this week. We did. So you we know, did. make sure y'all check that out. Yeah, we discovered. That was fun. Yeah, we discovered that I'm always right. Which we already know. No, Charlemagne is also just going to go against me to make me look bad. Because that's just what he does. Or you're just crazy and a liar. Yeah, I mean, I kind of made sense. I actually went back. I was sitting on the toilet listening to the show. And I was like, oh, shit. That's what people are actually doing. This good. nigga does everything on the toilet. That's the time to think. You really obsessed that's the with position. shit. You that's wasn't joking. The, no, no, I'm not obsessed with shit. It's just, that's just the position for thinking. Why why you think all the smart people sit down and you do your homework? Because you think, and this is a position to think. When he said that, though, I thought of the statue of the man that's yeah, like this. smart They do look like that nigga on the toilet. If you're not smart, like, if you're not smart, you like, standing up and playing sports. All the sports is, like, standing up and running and shit I like that. I thought you These played sports. That, so that, which one are you? I ain't the motherfucker that's what you want in the books. So this is the time for me. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm this just is the get time. quiet now every time you say something Listen, stupid. Listen, so this is the time the motherfuckers sit down and chill. Like, this is just, I guess, the position. Because every time I'm sitting here on the toilet, and it's like, what are you going to do but look at your phone? Like, you going to wait for the shit? Are you crazy? You'll be there all day. So you just get on your phone because that's waiting instead of waiting for your shit? Yeah, because it's like it comes out when you ain't thinking about okay, it. Okay, we don't want to talk about this. So anyway, um, Jordan Woods, I've been, this has been... Well, Just a topic. I think you got her name wrong. What's her name? Jordan Smullett. <laughs> I don't think you listened to it because if you're not saying her last name Smullett with me, you didn't look at you didn't look at the interview. Why is her last name Smullett? You did not look at the interview. For if, definitely, if you asked me that, you did not look at because that interview. bitch lying. That motherfucker <laughs> smut. <laughs> <laughs> she smullet. Now she doing she doing. I, well, I wasn't there, but it's hard to try to. It's hard to try to convince somebody when you saying they say you was on a lap, and she said, "No, I just had my legs over him." Uh, that's that, weird. That's yeah, weird. Yeah, we didn't smash, crazy. but we kissed. Like, whoa! Why was your legs over homeboy legs? Let's roll that beautiful bean footage, Taylor. You got it. Yeah. Oh, she's a producer. Mm-hmm. Well, and your dick uh, went limp. <laughs> <laughs> limp dick. Yep. That's true. Mm-hmm. Run's house. 
Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're drunk. We ain't really know what we're doing. Ah, oh, I fucked him before. <laughs> of course. Of course. He didn't have to. I've been fucking him over there. <laughs> Somebody else did that shit. I was drunk. I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, I was drunk. Okay. Fuck all that shit. I'm not going to lie. I wish she would have fucked Kanye instead. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck up Kim and but Kanye, listen, bitch. But why, not why these are they two. doing this round table thing? Like, it's really something. You know how many girls fuck NBA players? Like, you're fucked up because you fucked the NBA player. You okay? Shit, I need to be on the round table too. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to get there. <laughs> not, not, not from America. No. Wow. WNBA. WNBA though. No. I, I was just with. Stop, okay. man. Who you want to fuck? Man, the White Howard? No, you, you the just fuck put out a wig here. on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But with the fucking part, though, you know what I'm saying? It's like she's over there trying to make it seem like who you want to fuck. I want to know. It's a, it's a one of the female girls. Trisha. No, what's her name? Her name's Sky. <laughs> Is it Sky Diggins or nah, something like that? What's the bad don't, one? Don't, come on. If you want to fuck her, you would know her name. No, no. It's one is really, really bad. She played on, she was on. James um, Harden. Stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was on Love and Basketball at the end. She bad as hell. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Not yet. Yeah, but um, but what was I saying? <laughs> we don't know. But anyway. But yeah, no, she made it so much of a big deal. Why? It's like she's going through something so crazy because the media going after her. You need to go after everybody. They ain't got no counseling, no type of shit because the fucking media went after you. That shit crazy. <laughs> that shit crazy. I mean, but we talking about the Kardashians. That's so. what I'm saying. So they've been getting all this, all this crazy shit in the uh, media and everything. She finally get it now. She need a mentor. She need all this counseling, and all that type of shit. Yo, girl, you never. That's your first fucking NBA player you fuck. I'm sorry. I think it's just because of the fact that she's friends with them. I don't think it's because she fucked them. It's because she's friends with them, and that's Chloe's man. Um. You know what I do like is that Chloe is actually being active on Twitter. And uh she's saying a few things as well. Taylor has the tweets if she could pull them up real fast for us. But basically she was saying that Jordan is lying. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> she said that she's lying and she says she is the reason why. Okay, why are you lying, Jordan Woods? If you're going to try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. By the way, you are the reason my family broke up. Ouch. So is she saying that they smashed before? I mean, I just guess that Chloe didn't care about the other 10,000 bitches Tristan got caught with. That's what I'm saying. You got to know what you... You, gotta, you have to know who you're with. You know what I'm saying? You have to know exactly who you're with. I can't believe that she even think that he was going to... Like, Be faithful, right? Come on. I mean, the contract is up. I just, I never believed Tristan and Chloe from the beginning. The way that this family is, they have babies for business. So I'm sense. I'm not surprised if they was to be like, yo, they had a contract that Tristan and Chloe were together. I Like, I don't, I wouldn't be surprised. If Kendall Black needs China somebody, does it. Kendall needs somebody, I got it. I don't, I don't think Kendall I mean, is looking just for saying. you. Hey. And, like, you got to, it has to be somebody that's also going to raise their stock or whatever you want They was already say. up there. Anybody is, nobody's raising their stock. Yes, anymore. it is. Because cool. what it is, is you're gaining the publicity from them talking about the relationship of them together. They overshadow everybody. Okay, for instance, who's the least popular Kardashian? The one who doesn't have all the relationships and scandals. And that's Courtney. Oh, shit. I forgot all about Courtney. Exactly. Oh, shit. But Courtney when she is, was... Yeah. Fucking with Scott Disick and he was going crazy and yeah. on drugs. You know what I was about to say? The guy who who bo- <laughs> the girl who boyfriend put the money in that waiter's mouth. I exactly, that and episode. that's why you He's knew. A piece of shit for that. But do oh, you get ahead. what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit like that is what makes them bigger. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter. It's like scandal and all kind of bullshit, which makes you talk about them more. Mm-hmm. Kylie has like the biggest scandal. Kim would would be well, first, do? then Kim. Ke- not Kendall. I'm a um, Kim and Kylie. Them bitches' names is too fucking similar. Yeah. So um, Kim would be first with the scandals. Then yeah, you would go Kylie. with Kylie. But yeah. like, come on, sis. You done stole 
French. I said that last episode. She fucked somebody else. But um, she ain't really still him. She just, you know, next. That's okay, it. so if she's next, what are you mad about? Like, what are you mad now? Somebody took your nigga. So tell her thank are, you next. You said, are they married? They're not married. So Lay away. So Jordan is not a smut then? She's not a smut. I'm, no, no, no. She, no she, <laughs> she's not a smut. She's a smullet. Oh, a smullet. Okay. Yeah. I thought you was calling her a smut. No, 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 no. Okay, so she's a liar. I do think, first Wrong. of all, if your friend, homegirl, friend, sister's friend got her legs over your man Problem. legs. Problem. The next thing is the dick is going Early. in between the what legs. What you think? You think his meat getting hard? His meat definitely is going to get hard. They're, they're drinking. Let me tell Come you. On. Don't even touch my finger. You've never been in a situation where you wasn't sure for real. <laughs> where you wasn't sure like, nah, I don't really, this is my friend. But then y'all get drunk and y'all get close to each yeah, other. Yeah, and your, yeah. your arm touch the other person. All you like, oh, like, we about to fuck. Early. Don't even touch my We're finger when I'm drinking. And like, that's, oh my gosh, why she touch my finger? She likes me. So what? So a leg is or is early. It's going down. So what do you think happened after their legs are crossing each other? Because you could have sat anywhere in that mansion, bitch. That's what I'm saying. You sat on the arm Say, of the chair he was on. sitting on. That's hot though. Why not? He probably smelled good. He's an NBA player, right? She was putting the pussy in his face. That's low key Literally. putting the pussy. If the arm is here, his head is here. You putting the pussy in his face? You think he ate it? I mean, not in front of all them people, but maybe later. It's the house should be at least 10,000 square feet. T. Diddy got something to say. She going to cut us off again. Let me hear Chris Diddy. <laughs> I was never blacked out. But there was alcohol involved. There was alcohol involved. So how drunk were you? I was drunk. Okay. I was not tipsy. I was drunk. Right. But I was not beyond the point of recollection. I know where I was. Okay. But on the way out, uh-oh. He did kiss me. Uh-oh. Now, uh-oh. now, now he has to say he smashed. No, nothing on the way out. He just kissed me and, Ouch. and like a tongue kiss, like a you kiss on the lips. You opened the door. Like a, like a, no, it, it was like a kiss on the lips, but no dang. tongue kiss, no making out. Got it. Nothing. When the last time you and just pecked somebody on the lips? He's wrong either because Why I allowed think myself smell to it? be in that position. <laughs> and when alcohol's involved, people make. You, you know, still drunk at 7 in the morning? Get caught up in the moment? I, nah, in L.A., when you go to the house parties, it goes. It goes down. Like, because you're still drinking and chilling and everybody... Like, because think about it. The club closed early in New York. So you go to the, the crib in L.A., whoever crib Please. it is, and then it. you party there. I know, yeah, I get it. And smashing going on, and everybody finally go home. And But you're not supposed to be at that nigga house, Not period. at all, because respect, period, for the, for the family. Like she said, she even said that... She wasn't supposed to be there in the, in the, at the in the beginning. Yeah, you know but saying? saying that is one thing. Why you didn't figure that out last week? She was drunk. She'd been there before. She'd been fucking him. So why is she, why she even need to think? Yeah, she should have just said, I blacked out. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> I blacked That's out. I woke up say. and dick was in my mouth. But now, now he had to say, man, I've been fucking that girl. Because now drinking was involved. Now she's saying like, oh, he just came on to me. It felt weird that he just kissed me. Now they're going to be investigating this man. This nigga. Now he had to be like, yeah, come on, man. I've been fucking this girl, man. But you know what's real fucked up? That he's going to be right there chilling with his feet kicked up on the coffee table. Like he's supposed to. And Jordan got to chill at Will's house now, Will and Jada. Mm-hmm. And he can't hang with, she can't hang with Kylie no more. So what? Uh, but why he just get to chill with the feet kicked up on the coffee he's table? A man. He fucked he up too. He got millions of dollars. It don't really fucking up for us, ain't fucking up for him. Will and Jada better not never fuck with the Kardashians again. Why would they do? Because fuck it, if one going down, we all going down. But that, that girl, Y'all don't that fuck girl with is me? a woods. I mean, she'll smell it. She ain't no motherfucking Kardashian. <laughs> She's a smell it. Nah, I do think that it was dope. Like, regardless of anything, because you know how they are. They'll fucking bury somebody. Yes. Look at um Chris Humphreys. Never heard of him again. Who is that? Exactly. Yep. Look at who? who uh, almost Tiger. It was almost Tiger. Now, Tiger came back with that song. But he came back. Yep. But they, they who? Lamar Odom, they killed him almost. They almost killed him. Now, I, think, I think they said something like she smashed Lamar, too. Who, Jordan? No, nah, now they dragging it. Now trying to make now them look crazy. Smart. But this, yeah, you are. But that's what I'm, that was my whole point. I feel like once you go up against them, they try to finish people. So I think it is dope, at least, that she had another platform yes, the, that the Smiths. they couldn't control. But shout out to Wale, who was also on Red Table Talk, and his interview was actually better than hers. Yeah. But it got brushed under the rug because... 
Because this one. It's Scandal. Yeah? Yeah, Scandalous. So anyway, um, R. Kelly. This nigga don't get out of our motherfucking podcast. I'm sick of this nigga. What do you do now? A bitch bailed him out. Oh, wait, man. That mean? That's like the way to do his thing. He gonna have to really face that time. He probably dealing with them different demons anyway. Let the man go. We don't even know what he's dealing with. He dealing. He got to be dealing with a demon. Let him go. Just don't watch your kids. And I was talking about that the other day. Like, yo, come on. Where is these parents at that let these kids be gone for like months and stuff at a time? And they saying, oh, we're doing music. Man, I need the motherfucking see the fuck going on. I don't think that they just have access to them. I think that they're, it's kind of like a runaway. You ever heard of kids running away and they don't tell their parents where they are? They don't just be like, here, I'm on the corner of Normandy and Western. Come pick me up. It's so always. they don't know where they at? They no, they don't They haven't got no communication know. with their family. And so why the fuck should have been out? His fucking, I, I, I believe I can fly was that fucking good? Well, this time it is, they have proof. They saying that they have DNA evidence and that they have it on video and that he could spend at least 70 or up to 70 years in prison. <laughs> So, um, hey, karma going to come back and bite his ass for real. <laughs> yeah, this time it's three victims, and they're all under the age of 17. Surprise, surprise. Um, the woman bailed him out for $100,000. How old is she? The woman that bailed him out, she's 47. He would never touch her. That's <laughs> a, this is what I don't understand. Like, bitch, he's not going to fuck you. Like, you let a fucking whole, what do you yeah, call man, it, child that's really, molester? That's really dangerous, man. I don't care how good and talented he is. I don't care if he's black, white, whatever the song he had. I don't care if I'm black or white. Da, 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 da. Well, I don't she, care if he had that shit. She owns a number of restaurants. And um but hundred thousand is really just ten thousand though. So it ain't like she really No, 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 there. no. His bail was a million dollars. Oh, it was a million. She she gave a oh, hundred grand. Oh, oh, oh. That's different. She listed her relationship with R. Kelly as friend and stated on her Yelp page that she was helping out a friend. You know what? I want to know the name of her restaurant so we could boycott this bitch. Yeah. Fuck yeah. her. Yeah, she don't get it. No, she don't get it. Let that nigga go to jail. We've been wanting him to go to jail for a long time. He's touching he deserves kids. to be there. Little girls. And then his manager, I seen on TMZ. I don't know. Do you have that, Taylor? So his manager is like low key. I'm not going to say he's defending him, but in a way, he's defending the fact of him recording the girls. So what he was saying was, that R. Kelly never wanted to get Mike Tyson. So I guess that was supposed to mean, like, get accused of raping the girls. So he doesn't want to get accused of rape. He'd rather get accused it's of molestation. Rape, period. <laughs> so that's Child raping, molestation. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but that's, if these under underage is still rape at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool. That's what I don't understand. So what the fuck was he trying to, yeah. you're justifying nothing with nothing. They're retarded. You got it? Yeah. 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 You know, to tell his side, which is important. No one's heard his side. What's his side? I mean, he's got to, you know, tell, tell everybody the truth. But you guys have been listening to one side of the story all these years, and now it's time to tell the other side. Don, you I mean, talked to us outside court a little bit earlier in the day uh, about some of the challenges he's faced in his life. You right. say that this is a result of bad choices, but not that it's not. It's not bad choices. I mean, he's a survivor. This is a young guy. This is a guy, care. an older man who was at the age of eight molested by his sister for eight years and who told him she would hurt, kill him if he told his mother. I mean, so you got to realize, I mean, that's your sister. Who, who goes, who, who, any of us have been through that? No. I mean, so you don't know what it feels like to go through that for 10 years of your life. It's in his book. He wrote the book, uh, you know, Solar Coast. So that's his book and all this is in there. I mean, so is that Plug. excuse any of the alleged behavior? Absolutely not. It's alleged behavior. And that's because you're hearing from one side. I mean, but this is not a man who lets anybody in any of his events. This is not a man who... I've ever seen go out and target a certain type of individual. Take my glasses off so I can see my eyes. It's, it's, never oh, get the it's fuck out of here. But to what you were saying. Yeah, so y'all can see that I'm talking bullshit. His sister was that age. Does he feel. His sister was 10 years older than him. Right, a teenager. Right. 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 So that makes it okay. Yeah, that makes it okay. This alleged victim. Right. But, but, but that's about the age of his alleged victim. Yeah, I mean, so, so what should be. Who he should be in the room with is psychiatrist, not police. I mean, you know what I mean? And we, we know how to get After he goes to jail. They're going to yeah. put that in front of you. If you like women, they're going to put that in front of you. He doesn't call anybody coming to his events. So the allegations are a very, very young girl. Yeah, but these are women that, I mean, you got to think about this. Rob, you know, when, when you go, he, this Lexi, we know about his, his issues with his um, 
you know, with not being properly educated and things of that nature. He wasn't going to that school because he was targeting somebody. <laughs> he had a teacher who, Mc, Mc, Lena McGlynn, who actually taught him how to play the piano and taught him about music and a lot of things. So he wasn't going there targeting anybody. He was going there to learn more about Oh, his my life. God. Yeah. yeah. Now you're going to say that he was school. going to the yeah. high school yeah. for the yeah. teacher? That's, is he hypersexual? Now that's a question you ask him. But that, but that didn't stem from him being someone that goes out to do that. Yeah, they didn't even say the part that they even quoted. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad because at him because he's trying to save his money, whatever bread they're getting. That's his man. He can't throw him under the bus or whatever the case may be. Just shut up, then. Get the fuck out the way. Just shut up. Get the fuck out the way, because you know exactly what time it is, nigga, though. That nigga was fucking mad little girls, and you <laughs> were sitting there helping him get them candy. Yeah. Don't yeah, sit here and try to act crazy. They want McDonald's and type of shit? Nah, bro. No way. That nigga is sad, man. He rot in jail. Yeah, we, don't want, we don't want to talk about You cows. stupid old ass bitches. Stop trying to bail him out. He's yeah. never going to give you they the st- That's what they want. They want to fuck. They want, they, that's their dream to fuck R. Kelly. Yeah. And they finally sign him down so they can come in and try to grab him and pull him up. I don't know why they don't understand. Like, he's not fucking you. He wants your granddaughters. <laughs> <laughs> Be clear. Okay. Uh, Tiger was at Floyd Mayweather's birthday party okay. and got into an altercation. Yeah. And um, I would while, love to say I've seen that. Is a video out? That's yeah, there's great. definitely a video. Is he I swinging? Think Taylor has it. So, well, while he was being dragged out. By security um, or dudes? I don't know. Was that his security or? That was another security. But either okay. way, he tried to grab his security or a security's gun. Ooh, there's a video of him grabbing a gun. The that's guy different. takes the gun back from him. He puts the gun back in the guy's pocket. I mean, the guy puts it back in his pocket. He tries to grab it again. But he doesn't let him take it. So Tiger was ready to risk it all. <laughs> so this nigga must have violated him at this party. Yeah, something happened. I would love to see this. What do you think it was? Um, I mean, I'm hearing about people want to get people hit up and killed because they don't want everybody to know that they smashing that person. So Like who? I heard there's something this week, but I'm not sure if the, all the names and all the teams. What happened this week? You know, know some it's gossip? Something, it's, no, it's something like this, you know what I'm saying? This is it. This is nasty. He already grabbed the gun, I guess. Yeah. Tiger, I beg of you, please. <laughs> oh, look at Amber Rose's boyfriend. Oh, he had G. He's screaming and shit. I didn't know he was about that life. I don't know if that's okay. I'm joking. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was scared. For uh, who? I don't know anything. I heard I heard guns and all this type of stuff. Again. Now, one thing I will say, why the fuck would you try to grab a gun in front of 90 cameras? It's all the thing, man. It's, it's out of control. Like, even all that is just like too much screaming and all that. What are you going to get out of that? You just want some attention. That is nothing. I don't know. I kind of believed his friend. I believed him. I wanted to back up. Yeah, I, I backed up a little bit. Yeah, Even in my seat, I moved back. I was like, oh, yeah, shit. I, I would have seen that, but like, nah, we ain't going here. We out. You know what I'm saying? Tiger I, grabbing the gun, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> 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 don't hurt nobody, man. You, you know, regardless of the money and the good life that you do have, a nice house, the cars, had done smashed the Kardashians and stuff like that, what we all want to do, right, fellas? Um, that jail cell is real, bro. Yeah, ain't nothing funny or cute about that nah, shit. Nah, fam. Chill out. Um, yeah, chill out, bro. So do you think he would have... Oh, no, but you know what? I did see... I don't know if... The people... They pieced it up. Who was it? Who he was fighting with? 
I don't know who was the people he was fighting with. All I know is I was on the gram and I seen a picture Probably of Probably a promoter. And they kind of like... the bread at the end of the night or It something. was like, real niggas, you know, piece shit up and put yeah, it to the side. respect that. I'm never mad with a piece And they was up. like on Runyon Canyon and shit. Man, like, never mad with that. You didn't see that? Yeah, they pieced it up. It's all good in the hood. Yeah, I'm, I'm never mad with that. I see two dudes who pieced it up and stuff. I hate dudes that be like, damn niggas fighting now and they all cool. Like, fuck that. I would have I did this. I would have did that. Like, yeah, God, I hate when people do that out. shit. What's wrong with you? Nigga? I thought we were trying to get rid of black on black crime. Yeah. And y'all motherfuckers is there happy that nah, niggas is fighting. Yeah, nah, I ain't cool, man. You heard about that Momo challenge? What's that? I really don't know. I keep seeing it on the gram. Like, people talking about it, how it's like, I guess it's like pops up in the middle of videos. So, like, the kids will be watching the videos. Oh, my God. Right. Is that it? Momo. Momo. Oh, oh, don't say that three times. Momo. No. Ah. <laughs> I up. slap the shit out of Momo. I'll shoot somebody's shit. Don't play with me, I'll man. shoot the shit out of Momo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but either way, they said it's like something that pops up in the middle of the kids' videos, whether it's like That's cartoons or when they be watching it. fucked up. And it encourages them to what? Kill their family themselves? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's like the ring type of shit. But, um... Yeah, it looked like the ring. I was on. Let me read the So details. R. Kelly did that shit? Yeah, that looked like him. That's how he lured little girls into his bedroom. <laughs> Fucked up. That is a scary motherfucking picture, though, man. Like, right, right, word is more. If I seen that picture before I went to sleep, I'd probably dream about that shit. That's why I always want to, like, watch Nemo and something. You know what I'm saying? So I could be fucking swimming. Oh, my Lord. Look at that shit. What are you trying to tell me to say? Because I don't see... My son, my son would probably love it. Whoa. That shit, Whoa. I was scared. It's fucked up. Yo, who the fucking stupid? Let me tell you something. Wow. This is for you lazy ass motherfuckers to yeah. stop giving your kids the iPad yeah, and, and just... thinking that's going to be the babysitter for the day. Make them go outside, make them run, make them ride bikes, make them get athletic, go do something, put them in karate, put them in basketball, baseball, swimming, make, make them do, play music, make them do all this type of shit, man. It's unbelievable. But, but who's the sickos that really sit down like, hey, you know what's going to be funny? Let's pull up a Pocahontas video. I don't think they think that was funny. They, they want to destroy a, a mankind. They want to fuck the shit up. But like, how, like who? Who's they? Like, what do you think is the kind of people that are doing know who this they shit? Is, man. I always ask who they is. Never, and why they can't we up. figure out who they are? Like, it's the internet. Come on. They've like, been doing a lot of shit. They the ones who've been taking everybody. They they the ones who be on on outrage. Like, we come to each other like, damn, you hear they going crazy on um on Twitter or Instagram. They, it's always they. We don't fucking know who these motherfuckers is. We don't know who's making a real big deal out of shit. That we be like, man, that ain't nothing. They be like, but well, somebody's making a real big deal out of it. They motherfuckers, who the fuck is they? I just don't know what kids is really like, hey, the gas stove. Like, let me put this on. Like, I guess there is, like, has anyone died from it yet? Hope not. Has, no. Is there any reports? I just see a lot of people like on Instagram, like my kid better not never da 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 da. Yeah, it's not it's nothing to play with ever. I just ever, feel like no. they always pop up with some weird ass shit out of nowhere, and now we got to deal with shit like yeah, this. That shit looks scary enough. Distraction. Ain't got to tell me to do anything. As soon as that shit pop up, I'm out to throw the fucking yeah, throw iPad. That, shit, that shit's fucking infected. That shit fucked up. But you say it got to be something to do with Trump again. You know what I'm saying? He got little tactics. He got little things. He probably got these little nerdy ass kids who come to him like, hey, I got this thing right here to distract everybody because the kids is about to be fucked up. That shit hacking every, your computer every man, time. It pops exactly. Up. Every time you try to go in there and look up Trump news, whoever, you know what it is, whoever looked at that freaking interview is probably going to their kid's iPad. Anybody who tried to look up this shit with Trump or anything like that, that shit probably now popping up on your kid's shit now to try to destroy your kid and try to fuck you up. 
Look this at that is your shit. conclusion. That know Trump why? Is because it never it. popped up on my fucking phone. And I know I never looked at that shit. So I well, think are I, you watching Disney videos and shit like that? No, on your phone? I think that these people and through their internet in the house, they probably looked up something to do with Trump. And then that's why it should come into you. I Kids. Think like, I think it's a hoax. Something is it not? I said that the right word. Yeah, hoax is right, but I don't yeah. know if it's like that for that. Anyway, let's talk about Takashi Six Nine for a little bit yeah. because um, we know that it's been rumored that you know, well, is that a rumor at this point? No, what's that? It's that he's gonna be telling on the other members. We don't know if that's true or not, but that doesn't matter. He has a baby mama. Uh huh. Is the moral of the story. Mm -hmm. And I know part of the thing they were saying was that the baby mama was supposedly fucking with a member or other members of his team mm -hmm. and the people that he was rolling with. I heard something like that. But every time I turn around, I see her on something. She was on DJ Vlad. She got interviewed this. by him. I hate that. She's telling all his business all that, the goddamn man. time. I hate, I hate that. I hate that. Please. You don't even understand what he's going through right now. Get the fuck out the way. Everything you say, anything you do is about to incriminate this man. That When you're in that system, that shit is so real. You'll get lost in that motherfucker by somebody saying the wrong thing or something stupid coming out. You right. got to get the fuck out the way, y'all. Well, she said he gave her hush money to keep quiet and not expose her. She ain't, it wasn't enough. Obviously not because she won't stop. Like I said, she won't stop talking. He needs a refund. Every time yes. I turn around, every time I turn around, she has something to say yes. about something or another. And that's so corny. Ah, oh, get out the way, woman. It's please. like you have a baby with this man. Like, regardless of anything, it's like she's, I, I just feel like at this point it's starting to sound bitter. Like, she was mad about the truck that he bought his new girlfriend, which that was a little foolish. Yes, but so what? It's, he, it's his, it, she's on layaway. He didn't marry her. Yeah, but if you going to buy... jail? You going to spend all his money on a, a G wagon for somebody else that you That's just what started he wanted dating? To do. That's what he wanted to do. That's his man. That's what the, this man wanted to do in his life. He felt good to, for something made him want to do that. That's what he wanted to do. That's why I hate when you, well, you marriage mean you are one. Now you have say so in somebody else's life. If you ain't married with this man, you really can't say nothing. He can't say nothing to you. They're not even together. Then, so it's not even then, about... Come on, man. But they do, like I said, they do have a baby together. She is doing interviews about him. Corny. She's pretty much one of the only people that's still talking about him. Like, I mean, we're all... You know, his name pops up here yeah. and there about the case and stuff like that. But she's the only person that I can say... Every time is, she talks, she give him another year. Yeah, it's consistently dragging him. Corny. Yeah, so um, how much would you give... Your baby mom to keep your secrets quiet. Um, <laughs> mine or just just another another one of I have. What do you mean? I don't. Yours, <laughs> not like your baby mom. Shit. I don't think I don't think it'd be no money. If I did something, it's out there, man. For real? Yeah. You don't think she'll hold you down? Oh, oh, you not paying her? Which one is it? It was something like really, really, really crazy that I think I would really fuck me up. Um, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what would I you don't give know. her? Like an allowance, a budget, or like what are you I doing? I'll be scared to even ask because once some, once a, once a female a female knows she got you by the balls is like. They can do whatever. She'll be like, you got to pay me forever. She got to do that. And certain women are just like that. They going to hold that shit to you and you'll never get out of it. So you so think... you rather the news to go out. So you think it's better just to let, let it go out? Let the news go out. When you got a baby mama or y'all two just not getting along with each other, it's better let the motherfucking news get out. I was actually on Instagram yesterday. you're going to be yesterday. in jail anyway if you have to go to jail, but as long as it don't kill you, you'll be all right. I was on Instagram yesterday and um, I seen somebody that I know post he said listen i'm going on instagram live in a few and i'm gonna just let y'all know the truth about everything that's going down with me he said basically i got somebody that's blackmailing me Peace. they're gonna come out with messages about my business and stuff that i've been doing so i'm just gonna go on instagram live and tell everybody my business myself because i don't want nobody hanging out i ain't mad at that at all i think that that's fucking sad what's going on nowadays yeah. no, but like yes. I People that, are really shit. like, oh, well, I'm going to take your messages and post them. Like, how, when does it get to that point that you're really that mad at somebody that you're posting 
text messages and whack. These what? people, these people just want to be on. They just, they they feel like that's their two seconds of fame. That shit whack as hell. Wax, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. Munchies. This nigga got chicken, pizza, <laughs> French fries, pretzel chips. I, I'm helping you. We eating this together. Well, I'm not eating that shit. I don't eat oh. none of that shit. Oh. I'll eat the French fries, but this nigga. <laughs> first of all, these are my French fries. Oh, they Thank are? You. Oh, yeah. Hot. But you done made a whole Thanksgiving feast. Who feed. knows anything? <laughs> you're disgusting. Well, go ahead. What you saying? So, um, we also have a. Edit all this out. Okay. Robert Kraft. So he pleads not guilty to charges of soliciting prostitution. Oh. So he's the New England Patriots owner. Okay. The billionaire. He got that bread. I ain't mad at him either. What the fuck? And you know, he got caught during Super Bowl weekend. Was it Super Bowl weekend? Getting head, right? In a, in a happy ending place. Hold on. This man is about to win the Super Bowl. Get this motherfucker some head. Nah. You know how much pressure and shit that you have to go through? He need to relieve some fucking pressure. You want this man to die? Help him release. What do you mean, do you want him to die? Do you have any idea how much pressure you got to try to win the Super Bowl? Why he couldn't get head from somebody that wasn't a prostitute? I don't know. It's better, better and somebody else would probably try to blackmail him or do some other type of shit. Right now, he knows the prostitutes are just paid to shut up, paid to leave. That's all, that's their job. Super Bowl is the hottest time for prostitutes. All right, that's what I'm Everybody saying. Everybody knows that. It was my friend told me on the plane on the way down there. They was like, if you see any scared young girls, like yeah, talking about right sex trafficking and all that stuff during Super Bowl, like I've never seen that on the plane. Yeah. That's wild. That's during Super Bowl. So yeah, why would you? When you go to you... Vegas, they always tell you that too, though. But you, the owner of the Patriots, my man. But I don't think he was doing the sex trafficking too, though. Like truthfully, I think he was just. I'm not I, I saying he was, he was doing the it. sex trafficking. He went in the in the in the shop in the whole to get house. Some head. To go get whatever he went to get. It's medicine. Why are you going there? Some didn't they say he had like seventy or it was seventy five dollars? Something crazy uh, like that. Seventy five dollars. That's peace. He could have found somebody to fuck him, nah, and you know he's running... different out there, man. He got he got have to shut he have to shut these girls up. You have to pay him to shut up and pay him to leave and pay me and paying them when I leave, you never see me. Wax, how did that work out for him? He's in he went to jail. I don't know. They had cameras. They cheating in that game. That's no, fucked obviously up. that's not the smart move to do because he's in jail. But or I went like to this. jail. If he if he be with somebody else, right? They're gonna try to blackmail him and try to tell his people, his wife, or try to put it in the media. Is he married? Yeah, that's is what I'm he? saying. So nobody got time for that dumb shit. He's paying, he's doing the right thing. When you got that much money and that shit, he is not rules. doing the right thing. He went to jail. If you fuck with a bitch, right? They can still blackmail him and do all that. What are you talking about? Yeah, but just because you pay them, don't mean they can't that, blackmail nobody you. Nobody really paying attention to that motherfucker because she got paid. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody want to hear that shit from her. Yes, they do. People listen to a whole lot of Why, prostitutes. Man, you got you got paid for. To do what y'all do, and now you want to go ahead and tell his wife that you did it. I don't think too many prostitutes are doing that. Like they 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 look down upon each other. You know what I'm saying? They do do that. There's yeah, a lot. Yeah, you're like, oh my god. No, she there's did, a lot that's that money up. No, what? yeah, what? there's a lot that's time. I ain't no, I ain't no none. But um, and I'm one, and I ain't saying shit. I do feel like ever since he started fucking around with Meek Mill and wearing the champion chain, that's when they came after this I nigga. Too. Now he a nigga. <laughs> you a nigga. That's why you got caught. They kicked nigga. him out. They picked. They kicked him out of the motherfucking club. Look how old his old ass is. Yeah. He been using prostitutes for eighty nine oh, years. Forever. Now he hang out with Meek he Mill one weekend. Been, he definitely been at the Bunny Ranch and all that type of <laughs> shit. That shit. Been, they been doing that shit. One weekend that of being black. It up. <laughs> Nigga went to jail. Got sloppy. <laughs> so I think that's the reason why that nigga got caught. Fuck the $50 and 75 Yeah, I ain't mad at it. All right, so we about to get into Savage News. Yeah, what we you know, got? Um, it's chicken. Or, or no, we changed the name of this, didn't we? Yeah. Dumb White People News. Oh, uh, yeah. What is it? Dumb yeah, Dumb White no, People News. Dumb White People Do. Okay. Wait, where am I at with it? Because I don't see nothing. Yeah, you got to stop eating on it there. Here, finish your chicken wing, because this she going to edit this part out right here. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Look how fat he is. Can someone get that? Look how fat he is. Zoom was. in. Mm-hmm. Just chill out. Oh, my God. One more. Oh, this is fucked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you? (laughs) 
Oh, we got. <laughs> you just inhaled the wind. Where did you write that shit, bro? <laughs> I'm reading a story. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, what we got? All right, these are good. Just start it over. Hmm? I'm sorry? Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, so we about to get into the one of my favorite portions of the show. And um, this is going to be Dumb White People News, yeah. formerly known as Savage News. I would love to see what they got going on now. <laughs> they always doing something. Uh, okay, so... We got a Kentucky woman. Okay. She scams her co-workers out of 10K. Yeah, she lies. Right. Oh, hold on, though. Huh? The bitch lied about having cancer. Oh, no. You a scumbag. Oh, you man. really a scumbag, yo. She's 25 years old. Yes. They arrested her on felony theft charges. She got more than 10K to help with her diagnosis. <sighs> and this is from 2013 to 2017. Come on, man. I wonder what type of story she probably was telling. She probably was acting like she was feeling weak. She probably was doing the most. She ain't shit, yo. Yeah, she ain't shit, yo. Well, her bond was $2,500. So $2,500? You... She's supposed to have way more than that. That's some bullshit. So $2,500, she got to take that out of the 10K. So she really only had $7,500. Because she had to pay for the bond. Yeah, I get it, but, man, no, she been spent that money. She said if it's in a two-year span, she ain't got none of that bread. She got it. Oh, so she could spend up to 10 years in prison. Mm-hmm. Now, that's a four year span, and she only made 10K. She should have just went to work. That ain't even no bread. That wasn't a lot of money. That ain't no bread. How much is that a year? 2500 $2, a, a, a year? I mean, it's free money, though, but she ain't yeah, shit for lying. Free, and now she going to hell. Yeah, she yeah, for that. You better go to, if you You're don't gone. go to hell for some shit yeah. like that. Like, you ain't going to hell because you told your girl that you went somewhere else and smashed the girl real quick and came back home. You ain't going to hell for that. So when girls say that shit to y'all fellas. Yes, she will. It's lying. No, no, no. You're going fellas. to hell. It's lying. That's not really lying when you when you lying to wifey. Did I say that right? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, California creep arrest. Oh, wait. Oh, is this the bitch? What she do? Oh, yeah. I hope she get cancer now. No, ouch. No. You don't want that. Why just, would you lie and say you, you had say, it then? Say, say you hope that she get beat up by a girl and being Big Bertha in jail. Nah, you nah. You don't want to give her the cancer. She wished it on herself. Yeah, I get it, but you still I don't, don't play with stuff like that because I yeah. lost family members yeah, to same. cancer. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. All we kind of stuff. You don't want, like, want to give it to nobody. You want to, she get beat up by Big Bertha because she want to stand and she don't get cut in line. That's cool. Bye, bitch. Peace. Okay. So, um, a California. I hope that's what CA is standing for in this. Because if not, I'm wrong. <laughs> a California creep arrested. Mm. Oh, this this must be one of Wax's friends. Let me see what he do. He was arrested for breaking into homes and sucking on sleeping women's feet. Come on, man. I love fe- I love pretty feet because it, it determines who that female is, how she take care of herself. That's Are you like- from California? No, from New Jersey. Oh, uh, just making sure. Yep. But um, that's just telling me how females is, how you take care of yourself, how you think about yourself, and I'm saying your confidence area. If your toes is done and, and looking good. That's why I like feet. You ever broke into a home before? No, no. I would try to. I mean, I kicked down the door to try to get into the, somewhere to save this um kitten. Was that it was... to suck toes? No. Oh. No, I was saving the kitten. Could have been you. Not your boy. <laughs> okay, so two, or what? We got to have some more dumb people shit. Like, I've, I've seen more shit on fucking Instagram that got more than this. We got it. He more looked than like fucking, some creepy toe ass sucker, toe sucker. Bro. Like, we understand it's dumb shit, but give me some more dumb shit. I know some dumb shit out there on Instagram. I be seeing this shit every day. I give you some pages so we can look at that shit. We can really get this shit ugly. Really? Yeah, this fucking toe guy. I don't want to talk about this fucking toe guy, yo. I want some shit. Like like the guy from Jers that was that was falling, old dude that was falling, that fake fell, and they locked him up. We did that, man. That's what I'm saying. Ago. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see this fucking toe sucker. Okay, anyway. So, lady calls cops on a black man after his dog humps her. Okay. White people is really <laughs> fucking crazy at this point. He touched me.
Oh, hump her dog. Oh, humping hers. Sorry. <laughs> Me too. All my dogs have dogs and humans. <laughs> what the rules? What the fuck? Are you on drugs? We need to put her on drugs. She Dog drugs. Park Debbie is her name. It should be shameful. I can't yell at you because you're yelling at me. You're telling me to leave. Yeah, language. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is very, the language is very crazy. Get him! What? Good job. Oh my God. I don't even know. I mean, I expect that from white people. Well, white, white women. They do something like that. I don't think a white man would have did that. You see how the cop came over, though? He was aggressive. <laughs> I even, think the cop yeah, because was aggressive. He, he, can't, he still can't even, like, he probably know the woman. He probably, like, oh, he's a woman. Probably a black guy here. Or whatever he knows the woman or she's white? Both. He same just thing. automatically came over like, okay, sir, that's her. I, and I expect the same thing to happen to me. I expect him to be a little bit more aggressive with me. I expect him to say, probably say a little bit more than that to me. He probably would have asked my ID right away before even asking for my name and number when it got something to do with a white woman saying some shit like that. Any little thing. Mm -hmm. But see, now I, I understand I, why it's ugly for no white like people this. do this. I understand why white the people language. do stuff like this. No, it's because they're always going to win. Yep, and and the language that she used was he didn't even aggressive. Care. Listen, it's aggressive. It alert, certain language and stuff that she was out there saying that already alerts these guys to you know terror or whatever the case. They got some type of codes, man, and it's kind of crazy. She said the dog assaulted the other dog. Yeah, that listen, off top. That you language, going to jail. the language is bad. And they know they can say little things and get you fucked up. So you have to be, you got to stay out the way. That shit went from being funny to bothering me. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, oh, That shit man, went from being we like, go. all right, we should have took out the white cop part. Yeah, it's not cool. Yeah. I thought it was funny. Anyway, so yeah. two people were arrested for brawling over crab legs at a motherfucking buffet. Okay. A buffet means there's more coming. Yes. So what all the fuck day. are they fighting over cra crab legs from? Mm. Why? I guess somebody was probably like me and my brothers. We'd sit, ar stand around, and grab all of them. You grab, you put this to the plate. I got another plate in my hand, so we filling the plate up. That could have happened. Well, they said they waited in line for at least ten minutes. It's a problem. Sound like somebody was holding the line up. And I guess they all <laughs> they all scuffled to serve themselves. But either way, they both ended up in handcuffs. Sucks. That's crazy to me. Now you got. <laughs> Who spoke first? What's the one? What's the lady <laughs> name from um, Saturday Night Live? My sister. They call Leslie. her my sister. Yeah, they call her my sister. <laughs> she got the Leslie hairstyle. <laughs> I wonder if he pulled her hair. What happened? He got a bandaid on his yeah. head. She fucked him What's up. What's his name? I hope she had a wig on when she was in there. <laughs> and then just, I hope, please, God, I hope she didn't go to the buffet like that. Yo, she was chilling, man. Yeah, I don't know what, but that's funny. The claws were out. <laughs> <laughs> they Yo, who 
Who hit who first? Who said something first? Was she trying to cut in line or was he trying to cut in line? Who you think won? How about that? Actually, I think she got popped. <laughs> but he, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, his face already sunk in by his chin. He's done. His name is John. John. John Chapman. John Chapman. What's her name? Uh, Laquita. Laquita. Oh, I was close. Shaquita. It is Shaquita. <laughs> I fucking quit. I quit. You look like something. Yo, that's not. She definitely funny. like a Aquita or something. Yo, I was definitely joking. All right, 19 year old Instagram model charged after throwing chairs at a high rise onto a highway. This is when you privilege, you got the money. I mean, everybody going to jail for that like- shit. Nigga, you throwing chairs? No, no, I'm not doing <laughs> that shit. I'm not even thinking about that. Chairs How old was she? Chairs cost too much. I ain't 19. Nigga, I led the conversation with that. Hey, no. Look at her. I told you, privilege, white privilege. Oh, she was throwing the chairs onto the highway. Yes. She was probably on Special K, MF. Yeah, she definitely was on something. Where you think he's looking at she's on, in she's the on, background? She's on, uh, <laughs> no, he's, she's sick to, she's sick to go, like, I just got hit from her. Nah. When I do that. That mean I, I she just gave me head to my dude. Why this bitch right? was throwing? Is that the face like yo? Let me say that she nigga ain't never got head before in his life. From her, she's on something. He got the drugs. He look at the drugs. They look at his tie. No. It's over his, his over his fucking navel. No. He got the drugs. Uh huh. That nigga never seen it. <laughs> never seen a bitch like that in his he never life. Never seen his meat in person. Yeah. Early. Get, get him the fuck yeah, out of here. Beat it. Yeah. What's this fucking Becky? Anyway. Yeah. Guess what time it is? Yeah. Guess oh. what time it Man, is? Please tell me. It is who's on drugs time. Ooh, we got callers and all that. Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Yo. Yo, it's Ron from Dawn Taylor. Hey. What's good, my brother? What up? What up, dog? What's good? What you did? You, did you see the? Uh, did you listen to the topic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know what we're talking about. We uh, we talking about this uh, Jordan Woods situation. Yeah. Please, please tell me. You think they've been smashing, or just I'm saying something, something that just now came up? Um. Well, you see, you see, Tristan here, serial cheater. So I don't know. <laughs> right. You know, like, you know, so he, he his dick his dick got a heat seeking radar on it, so he just out here hunting. So I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> they could have. They could have already. They could have already been smashing, honestly. They could have. Are you, that's not a. That's not a bad guess. That's not a bad guess. Is somebody saying that they wasn't? Yeah, Lori, I don't think they they've been smashing. Yeah. Do you think that just just something that just now happened? I don't think so. I think that she definitely been giving him some pussy. She she was too comfortable when she came in the crib and everything. It was too much. You know, if they've over there beefing, you I mean, stay she, far away. Hey. And when you already that close in the family, you know how to like you know the inside scoop on how to you know what I'm saying get around and like uh. You know what I'm saying? Get around it and, and speak like you need to. <laughs> but you can't just be doing stuff in public, right? That's, the, that's, the, that's nah, where they, she got a little that's where they mess she up was at. Drunk. And that happened to me before. I know some girls sit there and got a little drink in them, and now they want to show everybody that we together. Like, damn, she was doing that because she was drunk, bro. You know what time it is. So uh, you, you think she tried to shit you be doing that? No, I think that, um, I don't think they was fucking before. I thought that they got drunk and that it was about to go down, but then somebody might have interfered or interrupted or somebody came in on them kissing. But I don't think that they was fucking before because I think we would have heard about that already. You know you know what I don't like? I don't like when, like, like people get drunk and they be like... Yeah, man, I, I, you know, I ain't know what was going on. Nigga, yes, you did. You know, yes, you uh, did. Hold on, you know, no. Exactly. Hold <laughs> on, you never got that drunk that you don't really remember nothing? Nah, nah, that don't, because that don't make sense to me. I always know why I'm at. I know yeah. what I'm doing. Like, Not I'm like, me. You don't, you don't, you, you don't give a fuck in that moment. Yeah, I was about to say that. Good. You don't give a fuck. You, when, when that pussy good, you be over here like, Yo, I'm a nut in this shit. She say, yeah, it's over. How wax know when he don't <laughs> even drink? The only time I had a baby. The one time you drink? You know what? He, well, there, Tristan, there you he go. Was thinking about, he, was thinking about, he was thinking about that thing. Uh, he was thinking about that thing from the back, and he was like, you know what? I'm just going to have to do this. He, just, he was like, I'm going to throw all these morals up. I'm just going to have to do this. <laughs> I just think, I don't think you do. Tristan is the most faithful guy 
Period. We know that. So I don't think he cared yeah. or thought about the fact that it was his friend, her friend, anybody's friend. It was, it was pussy. It was pussy. It was, he was drunk. The legs uh-huh. was thrown over. And she was fucking probably batting her little eyelashes at him. She's young. And he, mm-hmm. he was going to fuck her. But somebody came, like, and they was about to snitch on them or something. And that's when she had to come clean. Somebody was at that door. When they was when he was walking her to that door, somebody came walking out. And they ain't think they was going to see them. She might have been sneaking too. up them stairs instead of going out the door. But they caught her. And that's what, why oh, they that's told. that's the scariest thing. When you ain't supposed to be somewhere and somebody out, that's the scariest thing. You get what I'm saying? And somebody caught her or something like that. That's why they're telling on themselves or she's trying to get ahead of the bullet because it's way more than that that probably happened that night. She know she wrong because she put her leg over here knowing he's a hoe. Whole ass niggas is whole ass niggas. You can't touch yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she was lap dancing. I don't know what she talking yeah, about. Yeah, she you was can't, twerking. You can't like you can't sit a piece of chocolate cake in front of that nigga thinking that going eat. Come on, over. come on. <laughs> She's sitting on the arm of the chair, her pussy in his face. So now what? Smelling that pussy like, that been in the club all night. On. Got that little scent to it. The club scent. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. It got a little. It got a little. It got a little VIP. It got a little VIP. Yeah. yeah. A little VIP. She, she got a little glitter on her fucking dress that looks sexy right now. <laughs> Fuck that. Nah, she probably had on his t-shirt and shorts. Mm. She hit him with the. Oh, I need something. Can I? Can I put one of your t-shirts? All right. On? So that now that go where I'm talking about. They already been fucking. Nah, you that's that. how you know you yeah, want to yeah. fuck. Man. That's how you know she getting comfortable nah, for the night. Stand. Fellas, we gotta take a stand. We can't be giving these t-shirts out no more. No more t-shirts or shorts giving out. We got we gotta hold on. No, to I do the long. I <laughs> do the long t-shirts. Up. Listen, if you can't wear you can't wear my t-shirt and it go over your um your butt, I don't need to be with you. That means you big as hell. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Nah, nigga got to hit him with the, yo, I'm going to need that say? back. <laughs> That's my favorite hoodie. I'm going to need that back. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to need all that back. Don't be don't be rolling around putting all type of shit on my hoodie. Give me that back. <laughs> Give me all that back. Nah, but... But I, yeah, no, nah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real situation, but it is what it is. I mean, like, Tristan, he just got a chance. Like, I don't know what to tell him. Like, I don't know. I don't know. He just, that's what he, that's his, it's in him. It's, his innate nature to do yeah, what he's doing. He need pussy hey, to keep going. what type of that don't care and just out in public doing shit? Like, you just don't care. Yeah, he doesn't he at not. this point. He's a fiend. He's a crackhead. He like pussy. Yeah. He's a pussy head. Aren't you just like I know that? pussy heads. Yeah. I know a lot of dudes who do shit because of pussy. Aren't you just like that? I mean, I was at one point of the time a pussy head. When did it ever end? So I, you, but not, that's what happens. You so have you went, to, you went to rehab. Nope, not yet, but I'm, I'm praying to Jesus. <laughs> 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 I'm praying to Jesus to ask you about my... I, I'm definitely I'm definitely the pussy head. I'm trying to get different than being the pussy head. But Christian is definitely a pussy. You see how crackheads Trish always go out? Christian. Same thing. You see how crackheads always lash out or they always steal something or something still you find out was them? Yeah. This guy is going to get caught in public here and there doing some bullshit. I don't know. I just feel like... it's funny like... because, like, he's not saying shit, so he just makes it look even funnier. What can he Well, you know they're guilty Jeez. when he's just chilling. Stay he out the chill. way. <laughs> what can he say? But he did say Perfect. something. He said fake news. And clearly... Peace. And go shoot some jump shots, nigga. He's a liar. Go dunk the basketball, nigga. There's nothing worse than you a fucking liar. You can't fake news. Yeah. You just can't. You can't do that, brother. Why not? Just, 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 the dime has been dropped on you. You gotta. You you can't say that, you bro. Say that. Tell me. Tell me what's the worst thing. What's the worst lie you did? You was like, I shouldn't have said that. What you say to your girl that you should have said? You shouldn't have said that. Most most of the time, because you know, niggas, we don't we don't know how to lie. Like, yeah, I, I know fuck. I that's what I'm girl. saying. Well, you what you had? I, I, I remember. <laughs> look, I remember my girl told me one time because this girl, I was a fan, and she sent me. My name like across her titty, and so oh, no. I no. shouldn't no. even accept it. I shouldn't even accept the picture. But what type of nigga ain't gonna send no titties? Like I'm not that crazy. <laughs> That's hot. Yeah. Titties. So, hey, man. but then my girl was like, "Oh, this is a fan. Like, well, why did you accept the picture?" I was like, "Well, how am I supposed to grow as an influencer if I don't?" Accept <laughs> <it>? <laughs> If you don't accept some titties, yeah, because them, them titties can lean. <laughs> yeah, them, them titties could lean into something else. Like if you don't on, get you know the fuck out of here, you know women market. Nah, what'd you say? If you don't get the fuck out of here with that lame ass excuse, that's amazing. I'm just saying, you know, women are y- y'all are the market. How am I supposed to grow 
as an independent uh, entrepreneur if I can't get these titties out. Thank you. Nah, boo. I love the titties, bro. <laughs> Good morning, titties is great. Good night, titties is great. Afternoon, just thinking about your yeah. titties is great. It's okay, especially you got your name on it. I ain't even get that. Hey, ladies, when y'all see yeah. me the titties, put wax on there. Please. Anyway, Come no. On, yeah. Wax on, wax on. Early. <laughs> Wax off. <laughs> <laughs> or each or each titty. Give me wax on on one titty and wax off. No, just them. wax off. <laughs> this, but, but, but yeah, you yeah, niggas come up with we come up with terrible lies. We don't know how to Yeah, lie. I don't know how to That's lie. I don't even know what I'm thinking, especially if you just nut it. Your mind ain't thinking about shit. You you try to fucking get out of there. We really be mad at the girl for making us cheat on our girlfriend. Really? When you when you nut, you coming back to reality. That's coming back to reality, back like what the fuck? You be in the bathroom washing off, like man, I can't believe I just did this. And now you looking at that girl in disgust, cause man, you made fuck motherfucking made me cheat on my girl. I hate you now. Women feel like that too, <laughs> for the record. Well, we both need to get the fuck out of here. After and go back we, home. After we done, <laughs> we like, ugh, why did I fuck this whack ass? Whack dick nigga. Oh, well, good. I nut it, nigga. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. And so did I. Peace. That's Peace. Terrible. That's even better. That's what we say. All yeah, right. I, well, we're all good here. All Nothing right. to see here, folks. Yeah, <laughs> everybody leaves with a real animal go, and everybody's good to go. There we go. All That's right. Good. Well, thank you for calling us. Good brother. Appreciate the call. Yeah, uh, no, no problem. No problem. <laughs> all right, bro. Bless. All right. Bless. Later. Bless. I think that it's crazy to me. See, you don't drink like that. No. But I've definitely blacked out before. Yikes. I've Dang had you. videos that I put on Snapchat, like, bugging out with my friends, that the next day I look and I'm like, oh, shit. This <laughs> ha- what the fuck? Like, and it be real bugged out. Like, one time I was leaving Footprints in Brooklyn and I was with Angela and we went to Suede, which is another restaurant in Brooklyn. Jeez. And for some reason, we was just bouncing back and forth and drinking and having a good fucking time. Yeah. And all I remember, the next day we was going to a baby shower. So we was putting up things at the baby shower and people <laughs> is putting tears in the messages. So I'm like, what? Like, it's just a picture of the, you know, our friend pregnant. Peace. And when I tell you, my nigga, I'm picking up a flag in front of a pizza <laughs> store. And I'm I'm like, pizza, pizza, yeah. throwing the flag yeah. and going crazy. So you're like, saying that Jordan Judgment definitely probably would have been off that night, been drinking. Listen, I'm not sticking up for her for being a little hoe. All right. But one thing I will say is I've definitely drank a lot to the point where my judgment was impaired. Yes. You know what I mean? Or like, I like even if you're doing something, you're like, I don't want to do this, but you're still doing it. Yes. Like, I've, or I've blacked the fuck out before. That's why you got to be careful, like, I and me, like, that. especially in my younger days, I would black out. But, like, the older I got, I knew my Sucks. limits and stuff yes. like that. I try not to mix my alcohol, and I don't drink if as I much. If I black out, people probably try to do me dirty. I would definitely do That's you dirty. There's no <laughs> way. I probably have all type of shit on my face, fuck me up. They probably get me naked. Yo, matter of fact, we should get you drunk one time. Not happening. To celebrate so our... As soon as I say I'm getting me, we'll get waxed naked. Oh, let's get him drunk. No, that's for Taylor. <laughs> oh, let's talk about uh, how... We can't be doing this. Oh, oh this is, Taylor. Listen, the guy's calling. Perfect call. I like Wax this. Wax butt tail and vibrator. Shut up. So what time in the morning? That's that's probably four or five in the morning. Because she left at seven. Two, three, four, five in the morning. Why is your legs on this whole ass nigga at that time of night? That time of night, we horny as hell. The moon is out. You know what I'm saying? The fucking... The moon is not out at seven. No, early throughout the oh, night, the said... fucking moon is out. Yeah, yeah. So that's the time the men is horny. That's what the fucking waves is all strong and shit because it's like, it's just all The moon together. never goes away, matter of fact. Yeah. It never go away? No. Oh, so it turns into the sun? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if it never go away, the fuck it go? No. Yo. We're not doing this because I don't know. We're not doing this. Next caller. <laughs> Next. That was the best. Who's on Fuck drugs? It. Who's on drugs, Yo. my brother? Clearly it's whack. Yo. Did Yo. you just hear this nigga say the moon turns into the sun? I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> Yo. What up, though? This T, St. Louis. What's good? My with brother, what's good How with you, you doing? bro? <laughs> What you think? Please tell me that you, you you think that they've been fucking or they just now started 
Yeah. He was trying to smash that knife. Big fat. Come on. Way too comfortable, bro. Ain't no way. Thank you. I mean, you got to think about it. They 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 had everybody in the in the crib. They took their phones and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it, it, it's more to it. Y'all celebrities and shit. But nah, man, you you doing all you taking all these precautions because you trying to have something for sure. Yeah, she was too comfortable. Then why she just end up with him at the end of the night and her ass and his face, fit legs over him, knowing it. How, how do men feel a certain time of night? You know what time it is, certain time of night. If you were the girl. Early. Uh, y'all should be there. Yo, I was with him smoking at his house 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Drinking with him 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. You crazy? <laughs> yeah, Trish can only go so far, bro. But I do think Tristan, like yeah. people, Tristan would take people's phones, not him personally. But I think he would probably want people's phones taken away because he already has so much stuff going on anyway. So having any girl at your house at this time of night is already sketchy for Tristan. First of all, I didn't even know he lived separately from Chloe. He's an NBA player. He should have other multiple places. Uh, yeah, what? I thought that they had a crib together. And so. He probably had his other crib over there, too. He got, he's an NBA player. You ever you see his contract? <laughs> It's a little different life. They got multiple. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what no, I'm not saying have. that I didn't know that basketball players have multiple residents. What I'm saying is I could have sworn that they lived together there. Like oh, I that house. Yeah, like period. I thought that where he lived in L.A., they lived together is what I thought. But obviously not. I thought they was broken up, though, for real. If, I, if, I, if I'm getting it right, I think they was already broken up. And when she said that I went to them and talked to them, she was, like, asking him, like, was he with other girls? She was like, no, he's behaving. He wasn't with other girls and stuff. Yeah, so why would she ask that if they were broken up? That's when she will ask that. Because she, like, she want to know how how was he reacting. Yeah, he's not then together. if he's not with you, yes, bitch, he's with several other girls. He's fucking everybody. Especially if they were together <laughs> at the time of night. Why the hell she wasn't home? Who She ain't got to be home. She's a grown single person. Either way, I think they could have been fucking, but I also could see that being the first night that they thought about fucking. And probably the only reason why she didn't fuck him is her pussy wasn't waxed or something like that. But I don't see... He's an NBA player. He don't care. She cared. She cared. It had to have been something because I don't see why they're kissing in the doorway and shit like that. Drinking like, was involved. I don't know. I don't think... Bro been busting down for a minute. They just got jammed up this time. Damn, so why was she tell now? That's when it start getting. That's when it start getting all messed up. When you've been doing it for a while, now you getting sloppy. Once you get, yeah. Once you get, once you start getting comfortable and some shit like that, exactly. You definitely about to. It's, it's about to come out. Why not keep lying now? They got caught up. with drinking was going on. Try- Things start happening. They don't got nothing on video. So why would she come out and hey, say? You never know. Why would she come out it's and some, say? It's something that we don't know. It's a reason why she came out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just to get ahead of the story. You know what I'm saying? The player side out first. Mm-hmm. Or they got some shit, you know what I'm saying, on them to where she like, let me go ahead and just throw this out there before the real me. shit get out or whatever. Yeah, he kissed me. Have you ever been in a like a relationship that was kind of sneaky? Or have you ever fucked with somebody that you had to hide from other people that you fucked with? Yeah. yeah. And how did you how did that work okay. out? I mean, shit. It, it wasn't it wasn't comfortable. Uh I mean just just that excitement, you know what I'm saying? You you get off on just that excitement. You know what I'm saying? Period. Sneaking around and shit like yeah. that, doing some shit you're not supposed to no, do. You that's ain't the supposed best to be doing shit. Hell yeah. Did you come out huh. and tell people or did people find out and catch you? Shit, it's still on the low tell. Y'all just ask me. What what are you hiding for though? <laughs> What are you hiding? It's not that I'm hiding. That's, yeah, that's, so not, much, that's not information so that needs to be shared. Yeah. Who, who's inquiring about this information? Like, nobody needs to know. Yeah. Why? When but, people start knowing, it's just, it don't feel right no more. I feel like it's... We but supposed why to are you sneaking, though? There's a difference between people not, not wanting people to know and sneaking. You're sneaking because you're doing it something you're not supposed no, to be doing. No, I'm sneaking because it feel good. I'm supposed to be doing. Correct. That's, that's okay, fact. so what are you sneaking I'm not, for? I'm, I'm not... I'm not currently sneaking. At the time, I was. You know what I'm saying? Being in a relationship and fucking on another girl at the oh, same time. Having, that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? Conversations with another female on a level that you shouldn't if you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Of course, you're going to sneak around. It's it's some shit you're not supposed to be doing. Yeah. Right. You ain't shit. You know, but shit. You want she on layaway. Hey, Remember, tell them tell they on layaway. You a cheater. You're not a cheater until you get married. I was. Hey, I was on layaway. Thank you. No, please. 
Please don't do this to me. <laughs> bro, you was on that way. Please Early. don't do this to me. <laughs> All right, now we're going to have to get you off the phone. My brother, we really appreciate you, man. <laughs> Blessings, man. In a minute. Bless. Peace. Peace. He was on layaway. You got to stop that. You got to understand that. Until you're married, that's when y'all in the couple. All that other stuff, nah. I don't know nothing. So you wouldn't be devastated if the person you're trying to find a birthday gift for is um, getting gifted by another nigga right now and his it's, big black dick? There's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing I can do about that. That's that person's life. That's the way they want to live. Hopefully, whenever she got that dick, she her mindset went a certain way, and now they together or whatever the case. Uh, do we have any more calls? Up, T. Diddy fucking up. <laughs> Chris Diddy. <laughs> Her vibrator fucking up the reception <laughs> of the computer. <laughs> she got it with her? She is all dressed up. Where the fuck you going, yo? She going on a date with her vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Did you name it? Did you name your vibrator? Uh, all right. Who's on drugs? She called anybody just to make sure we wasn't talking to her no more. Early. Trump? <laughs> Trump. She called, oh, well. she called the White House. You? <laughs> Who's on drugs? It was good. It was good with you, <laughs> nigga. Are you calling yeah, from the under the cover? I don't know what the question is. Uh, oh. All right, yo. The question is, um, do you think Christians and uh, uh, Jordan Jordan Smollett was um, <laughs> was smashing <laughs> before no. this before this thing came out? Do you think that Jordan Woods was fucking Christian, you mean? That's what I said. Yeah, he got history, man. He was he probably just smashed a mask there. Yeah, and probably another girl at that crib. You know what I'm saying? And she you know what? Jordan Smullett, she had to sit there and go over there and make sure she claimed her man because you know the other girls probably was trying to smash him too. They get it. A lot of alcohol was going on, NBA player, nice house. You know what I'm saying? The smells. Yeah. But I need I need some advice though. There we I go. Some I need some advice. There we go. We hear something. I need I need uh to know how to bag a girl like one size T. Oh my god! Oh my god! Today. You should see her today. This is actually perfect because yes. she was gonna do a tutorial on how to bag someone like her. Yes. T Diddy, why don't we you come to the mic? Bag somebody like one size T. You got She's your mic? Literally just been talking about. No, it's that. not fun size T, bro. That's being disrespectful. She do not want to be called. Fun size T no more. You call her T oh, my fucking bad. My T bad. Diddy. My bad, Taylor. What's you, up, man? No, no, no. It's no. T Diddy. No. T, T Diddy. You said T Diddy? Yeah. T Diddy. Put some respect on her name. Yes. Hold on. Here she go. Okay. Let me put Do like this in, first. Man. Do like this first. Because we're going to make sure you good. There we go. There you go. Oh, she has stomach out. Her stomach out. Is that her? She is stepping out today. What is wrong with your stuff? Here we go. There. Tell them how to bag a girl like you. Okay, a bad girl like me, really? not me, but like me, um, you got to have the f- four main things. You got to have your own place, good credit score, no kids, and uh, ambitious. Okay. Are you, do you have any of that? The king, he, he, he have to be atheist? No. Ambitious. I ain't got no <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, yo, he got, yo, what about no Jesus? <laughs> Ambitious, DK. Oh, I'm so you tired. You gotta talk of about me. Put your headphones up so you can yeah, hear what, what he's he saying. saying. Oh, you can. Mm. Go ahead. Wait, what did he say? I said I ain't got no kids. <laughs> did you okay, name? What else? <laughs> <laughs> did, did you? <laughs> was that an option? Because I don't. <laughs> no, is that it? No, <laughs> bro. Bro, do you, do no you not early? Do you not early? Yeah, fuck all that bullshit. Do you not early? Fuck all that ambition. You got all the ambition in the world yeah, thank you. Thank and all you, that shit. You if your ass motherfucking out here nothing early, that's a fucking problem. Girl's going to leave you. And I this, know this girl right here is going to leave you <laughs> if you nut early, fast. This nigga ain't qualified. You ain't qualified. Fast. He don't even nah, got I'm, I'm four sorry, I'm options. Not, qualified. <laughs> uh, not yet. Give me, give me a couple years, though. Peace. I'm gonna come up. You gotta fuck with. You don't got no good credit, at least. <laughs> Nothing. So you don't decent. got a job. You don't got a house. Decent. Where do you sleep? Where you stay with, bro? Where do you live? <laughs> what are you I'm doing? A, I'm in Cincinnati, man. At, okay, oh, okay, on the streets. Me. <laughs> 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 I can't believe y'all trying to play me now. <laughs> y'all crazy. 
All right, what you got? Where you stay at? I ain't no fun, bro. No, who you stay with? You who you stay with? I stay with my mom, bro. <laughs> I'm not laughing. Oh, Hold on. I'm not Can laughing. Can you fuck in the crib? No, no, no. Listen. No. Can you fuck in the crib? That's what I'm about to ask. Because yeah. I'm, okay, because I was like, I'm picturing fun size T. Well, I'm sorry, T Diddy. I'm picturing T Diddy coming to the house. And the mom like, hey, baby, I was cooking. He told me he was coming by. That'd be great. He said a girl like me, not me. <laughs> oh, be clear. Yeah, I never said her. I never said her. I said a girl yeah, like yeah. her. I definitely did. Yeah, well, oh. You don't know this one. Because this one's looking crazy. <laughs> 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 nah, but okay, we going to nah, slide in her DMs. We want to yeah, see what you her, look man. like. All right, I'm going I'm to uh, tell you my uh, Instagram. It's Teflon John underscore. All right, wait. Okay, slide we, it, slide it, slide in T Diddy's uh, Instagram. We gonna have we gonna have T yeah. Diddy follow you right now. Let's do it. <laughs> All, right, All right, I'm a I'm a DJ. I'm a DJ. Y'all shout me out. All right, bro. Oh shit. Bless. He gonna play your records, T yeah. Diddy. Hot. Yeah, I'm gonna play a song. Oh, play play I'm waxes. Pull up the record. Can you play Cincinnati, waxes Ohio, record? Man. You got waxes new record, <laughs> big. <laughs> Is it on time? <laughs> Is it on title, T. Diddy? Chill out. Well, Chill you know, out. so we're just going to play it at the end of the episode, and you could just take it off the end of the episode. Oh, Jesus. So make sure y'all go cop. Right, that, um, yeah. yeah, perfect. Make sure y'all go cop Wax's That's new single, time. Big. It's on, it should be on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Bully and the Beast podcast. Y'all girls are dangerous. <laughs> okay. All right, brother. Um, appreciate the call, bro. Wax, when are you going to put out a remix? Ain't no remix, y'all crazy. I think you should put Dream Doll on it. <laughs> I think that should have gone good, no? No, man. I don't even like that song. It's Definitely. too crazy. It's making me look out to be something that I'm not. Definitely my favorite song and That's right just now. like... No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that y'all trying to make motherfucking um, Jordan smell it, look out to be something that she's not. What, is a, she, what are we trying to make her look like to be? What yeah, is this? I try to make it seem. That's a, oh, that's my gift for you. What is it? It's a um cup. It's a phone. Oh, holder. for the cup. Phone holder. You put your phone right there. You bought me a gift. Yes. Oh, this is the nicest thing you've ever done in yes. life. Listen, put your phone right there. Thanks. Right there. Put your phone in. And then it. I go and swimming, and then it. I wouldn't trust my phone being in here. I would put, put your it phone in there. It's a nah, phone holder. It's for a cup, ass wife. It's not for Look. a cup. Like it's this. not for a cup. Let me show you. And you don't know nothing. I'm telling you, that's for the phone. It fits perfect. Your phone going to be under the water. No, it's not. Watch this. The phone will be in my hand or in, in my bag, so not in the pool. Oh. oh. That First shit tumble right over and niggas jump no, in. No, it's not. You're chilling right there. No. You're bugging. Anyway, give me what back my gift. She, she can't even <laughs> accept gifts right. Fucking sick of this She thing. can't even accept gifts right, bro. All <laughs> anyway, that would do is we gift it anyway. Do we have another call? Please. Who's on drugs? I got my have to talk to L'Oreal for another minute. <laughs> Yo. Who's on drugs? Do we got any girls? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that girl's better try to come in because she is a lethal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's gonna hang up on everybody. On everybody. All right, who's on drugs? This Damien. Damien? Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, all right, L'Oreal. Go you ahead. gotta add this in the show because that's shit to. funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Another one? Oh, Justine. Who's on drugs? Who's on Hello. Drugs? What's up? Yo, yo. Hello. What's good with you? Hey, Laurel and Wax. What up? It's your girl, Justina Valentine. How you Bully in the beat. Bully in the beat. How you doing? <laughs> What? Hey, love. How are you? How's everything? We're good. We're up here talking about Jordan Woods and Tristan Thompson. So, Wax. Oh, yeah. Yes, well, that's good because I've been, you know, keeping it on the low, but I actually have something to add to that story. Oh, oh do you? No. Okay, we're all well, in. Well, what had happened was that night when they were out and she got a little drunk on his lap or whatever, I was actually in town, and we all ended up hanging out, hanging out that night. We got the threesome popping. 
Dope. <laughs> <laughs> Why you, what? What's funny? It was strawberry shortcake in the hotel room. No, no I'm lying. <laughs> Who initiated it? Was it you? Oh, you know, oh, girl, you know I did. I'm just trying to get on the storyline for keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> so do you feel like that is part of a storyline? Or do you think that this shit is real and they've been fucking with each other? Um, you never know because Kris Jenner really is a mastermind. Is. So it could just be, she's like, hey, we are in season 82, girl. We need to spice shit up. Right um, or, you know, it could be a little deeper than rap and it could be, you know, really is Kylie's best friend. They got the makeup line together. Um, you know, real close friend of the family. Something about it to me seems real. I think it really happened. You know, especially now Jada and Will are kind of taking up for Jordan. I, I think it did happen. I don't think it's just a storyline, but who knows? Because 80% of what we see nowadays is storylines and PR and fictitious. <laughs> for sure. Right, right. So have you ever been in a situation where somebody that you were friends with, boyfriend might have hit on you a little bit or maybe, you know, tried to kiss you, make a pass at you or something like that? Yeah, of course. I mean, men are just animals, you know. So the thing is, the energy you give out is the energy you receive a lot of times. When yes. I see Two, three, my girl's more, man, man, I dap him up. I'm, I might hug him depending on our relationship, but I don't exude any type of energy where he even thinks he has a space to kick it to me at all because females, we, we can give off that energy as For males. Sure. And I, I've never given off that type of energy to a friend of mine's man because I'm just a loyal type of chick. So... For me to even think that they have a chance of hollering at me or anything like that, I would I would never do that to a friend. So I think there's the blame on both parties. Of course, Tristan, we know his track record. Not yeah, good. Yeah, he's already And then for home. Jordan, yeah, I mean, she was just never supposed to give him that energy. You know, Leg I think personally, it's, it's enough shit. fishing to see, and his dick ain't golden. Well, maybe it is, but. Shit, who knows, right? I don't know nothing. I don't right. know. I feel like when you mess with like an NBA player or something like that, I feel like everybody always be like, oh, well, it's an NBA player. You know, they're going to fuck. But I don't think that I feel like that's kind of making an excuse for them. Like, I feel like we just sweep it under the rug. Like, well, you knew he was going to fuck somebody. Yeah. But her, she's the dirty, nasty whore. Like, nah, like they both they both wrong, first of all. And second of all, we shouldn't just expect because he's an NBA player yes. that he shouldn't be fucking every and anything. Why? He's not married. Well, don't she's be in married. a relationship. Hey, he's an NBA player. He's supposed to be dunking baskets, not dunking at Exactly. Tits, you know, and every chick around town. And well, it, it is some good athletes. You know, look at King James, you know? He's the GOAT. And, and, and he seems like a good man. Look at uh, Steph Curry. So I think you're right. Exactly. You can't just make excuses. Wax is um, screwing his face up no, like he don't no, believe they no, faithful. I didn't say that. That's what your face looks like. Listen, they are married. There was a difference. This this other girl, Chloe's on fucking layaway. She is not. <laughs> she she's not. She's not married. These these guys are you are you named are married. They put a ring on this woman's finger. They said they are committed that's to this true. person. She Chloe is not. Well, in that married. case, you, go ahead. You you bring up an interesting point. I don't really know what is the relationship status of of Chloe and Tristan, right? Right. So uh, were they together? Were they not? If they weren't together, you know, in that case, I tend to, as a girl code, um, you know, put put more blame on Jordan because it's like, okay, they're not necessarily together, so he might be banging whoever, but Clo uh, Kylie is your best friend, and Chloe's probably like a big sister to you. Mm -hmm. Then they, they, like, grew up together. So that being said, in that case, I would put more blame on Jordan if Chloe and Tristan are not together. I don't know. Were they? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I, don't I feel so. like they together. They, they, cause she said they're the reason Jordan is the reason why they broke up. They ruined, she ruined oh, their okay. family. Oh, okay. Well, then they, you know, they both to blame. 50 50. Yeah, they both to blame. Like it is. And you know what? Let's be real. We're talking about the Kardashians. Like, how many niggas did Chloe steal from her friends and her sister's friends? How many niggas did Kylie steal from her friends and her sister friends? So you just got to charge it to the game. No, like, wrong and wrong is right and right. Ah, uh, you took a nigga, you got it, you lose a nigga. That's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it, it really is hard to keep up with, with the Kardashians. And, you know, I missed a couple of seasons, so I don't know exactly who yeah, took, we don't even you know, want who to. Who. But I was just saying, you know, karma is a bitch. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I still, I think blame is on is on Jordan and Tristan, not, not just Jordan. Right. 
I'd rather keep up with Jordan right now instead of the Kardashian. She seemed more interesting. I want to see what's going on with Why? her. Is she her lying? Her new boyfriend and her did family, you see the Will Smith. Huh? Did you see the uh, the interview with Jada at the, the what's it called, the round table? I, I did. 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 you guys see it? I watched it. Um, we talked about it a little bit. It feels like at some points it does seem... And feel a little very ungenuine. Like, she's just like... She's lying. It seems like she wants to laugh at parts of it. Um, I don't know. It, yeah, girl. Cause, yes. Cause she you, know, feel like you know Chris hit her with the mean NDA. It's not too much as she could say. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Early. She been sent that to her. That's the problem. Yeah. I would yeah. love to hear, like, what she really would want to say. Because it's probably so much more to this shit. Whole lot more. If we, if you gonna tell us, tell us the real shit. Like, he kissed me. Bullshit. Kiss yeah, what lips? A... She said lips though. She yeah, she didn't right. say pussy lips. She said he kissed me right in the pussy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was it. I went to right. sleep and I came on his face. I squared it on him. Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, you know, I know <laughs> Will and Jada have like the relationship with her. I think she's Will's goddaughter. So you know. But, yeah, I feel what you're saying. It's like, damn, if you can't really speak on it, then, you know, it, it might be actually a worse look to go and speak but not seem like you're really being transparent and real. You're probably better off just not saying shit. Yeah, stay out the way like Christians. Hopefully hopefully Christians stay out the way, man. For real. His name is Tristan. Hopefully uh, who? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Tristan. I yeah. thought it was someone else involved. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> He's been calling this nigga Christian for the whole shit. Like, my fault, my fault. Christian, no. I don't know. Well, hope That's hilarious. Y'all still going to do y'all threesome, though? Or what you going to have popping? Really? Oh, nah, yeah, not nah with them. Nah, <laughs> you, too much. Too you much. over it? You taking yourself want, out? I don't want to. Oh, yeah. I don't want to have the, the Kardashians to have an evil eye on me. Uh-uh. That's one thing that I don't want to touch <laughs> So what you got going on, though? You got What you got going on lately? Yes, girl. So I just been running around crazy um, filming mad shows on MTV. Um, getting ready to film season 14, A While and Out, next oh. month. We're back up at it, Atlanta. Uh-huh. And then um, I filmed for a new MTV show called... Uh, Tattoo of Us, which comes out in April. I'm leaving for Cancun in like a week and a half. I'm hosting MTV Spring Break out there, which I know is going to be crazy. Fun, fun. Um, also, I'm getting ready to drop an album this March, and then I tour from the end of March to end of April. And your bitch took um, New York Radio by storm two days ago. I went up to the Elvis Duran morning show, was a guest up there, um, did a whole bunch of shit with Elvis, freestyled about Greg T., I announced the iHeart Radio uh, performers in a freestyle. It was pretty epic. It's all on my Instagram That's page. Y'all can check it out. That's at so Justine dumb. Valentine. Can, can, but can, we, can we get a bully yeah, and a beast? Just and it's busy, babe. Listen, yeah. can, can we get a bully and a beast a freestyle or bully and a beast song? You got you got one for us? <laughs> yeah, I got you. But let's do it when I come in person because I want to do it nice over a beat or a beatbox. You know, through the phone. Dope. Once I start rapping, I'm not going to be able to hear the beat. Peace. I, I got y'all, though. I'll come through. Let's yeah, I've been kicking it. it with... um. With Taylor, and she's real cool. Luke. You know, last week you said to me briefly the other day at 105. Jeez. So I got Jeez. you. I, I assume you're filming in New York, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we'll work it out. I'll do it when we come in person. We could do a nice. I can tell me topics so everyone knows it's a real freestyle and all that. Let's do it. Okay, perfect. Thank you for calling us. Appreciate it. Definitely. Thank you, Wax. Thank you, Laurel. Bully and the Beast. Bless. Keep doing your thing. And Justina Valentine, I'm out. Bye. Jeez. L'Oreal. <laughs> That's Taylor's fault. T. Diddy. T. Diddy. Um, always fucking up. No, I'm joking. She's always on point. Um, what else? You're crazy. We check on another call? I want to. Mm. As long as I got to talk to you. <laughs> I'm over right. it. Me too. I just want like one more. I don't know why. You always want to do one more. I, I like the calls. <laughs> I'll be done. This is hot. Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Hello? You. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. You heard me? <laughs> you hear me? Who's yeah, this, Master P? Uh, no, this is Devo, Long Beach, California, East Side. <laughs> Yo, Wax Jeez. is sending dick pics to girls Stop over here. Stop doing that because, see? 
Yeah. Hey, man. Hey. hey, you can hear it in that girl's voice. She lying. Yeah, come on, man. Uh, listen, I already know what time she it is. I'm gonna, so, I just so, so, seen so it. act like, stop what? it. What's wrong with you? That, that's not seen, even believable. Let me tell yeah, you something. He's shit. sending his dick pic out right now. As we Stop speak. doing that, now, man. Look. She is so, yo, hey, she look, is so hey, crazy. You she wasn't, you, <laughs> you, hey, look, you see she wasn't too eager to show you her, her IG picture. <laughs> what, whose IG picture? You want to fight? The girl he said he supposedly oh. sent the dick picture to. Yeah, okay, listen. I'm just making sure you wasn't trying to fight me. Girl, nobody trying to fight you. You're <laughs> so crazy, nah, 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 bro. <laughs> What's going on? Look, What's good with you, my brother? All I want to say is, this nigga Wax is a genius. Ah, oh, oh, hang up. I appreciate I think, you. I, I, <laughs> I think I'm the Wax Whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> I know what this nigga be talking about. Thank you, bro. Straight up. Appreciate you. Straight up. So hey, you don't know Christian, what you're talking about. Look, he's exonerated. You know what I mean? Why? I don't know nothing. Oh, that nigga didn't do bro. nothing. If he shut up, hey, look, he, he never do nothing. He 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 say anything. It, he fucked himself. Exactly. All you gotta do is shut up and and this. And he the one. He he got the power. He got the money. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> hey, look. I they feel got more that money than on him. him. They got more money uh-huh. than him. No, but I feel it. They praying on him. You know what I mean? He the victim. Is he now? That's he I is. That's what I was saying. No, he, he, he needed to sit back and enjoy himself and take all let all of them be able to get in trouble. Let let Jordan smell it get in trouble. Exactly. Let motherfucking Chloe Kardashian exactly. say she couldn't keep her man in place. Let them over here go all do all that dumb Why shit. Why is he the victim? Explain that. Sorry. Because <clears throat> explain because that. Because he's a he's an innocent black man with yep. a couple of dollars yep. and and was under the influence yep. and and kind of you know he kind of got uh uh forged you. into into falling into of, of of the club smell. We bro. all fall victim to it. That club smell. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. got that little they VIP club. Doing. You got that VIP club smell. <laughs> you get every it's, one yeah. of us. Think about it. This nigga, it, it, he'd be the dumbest nigga in the world to be seven feet eleven tall and 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 be caught cheating. That makes sense. Dumbest nigga in the world. How you hung high? You that tall? He's in his yeah, house. Yeah, you can't hide. It's impossible. He impossible. was in his house. Right, so they always still gonna know where this nigga at? <laughs> Home, nigga. It was where, in a, uh, and where all the other girls? They have, I, a, they have a thing called cell phones. You know why I find this and, story and I, unbelievable? I, I, because where are the girls that Jordan claimed she was with? It got to be at least one of them to be like, nah, for real, I was there. It yeah. wasn't no shit going down. Where are these girls? I'm starting to believe that now. It wasn't no party. Yeah. It was a party of his pants, if yeah. anything. Yeah. But there wasn't no, hey, there was there wasn't hey, no after hour, hey, nigga. Hey, can I can I be hundred percent real with y'all though? Talk You're Tristan. Me. I'm gonna be hundred percent I'm gonna be hundred percent real with y'all. And this is me, Devo Long Beach, California, East Side. That's it. As soon as he start as soon as he start messing with black girls, that's when the shit fuck up. You know what I mean? He you gotta stick to the Latinas and what? the Asian persuasion and all that other shit. Just nah. leave the black girls alone. You so sound leave the black girls. It, it just it, it, that's what's gonna happen. I'm true. sorry. Or maybe it's just the ignorant niggas. <laughs> nah, it, yeah, ignorant niggas messing with these dumbass black girls. Ah oh, man. <laughs> Get hang up on this guy. Hey, but look, <laughs> and, and no, but look, you know, Bye. Hey, look I, I think black girls. Hey, look, I think black girls. Tell if you don't hang up on him. <laughs> <laughs> Even Wax said hang up on him. The fuck the wrong with fuck? this nigga? He's the leader of the KKK or some shit. The, the fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Jesus. Nigga, Donald Trump and call. The fuck? Who the fuck let Trump through the yeah. wall? <laughs> He disguised himself <laughs> and then tried to act like I was with him. Like, right, right. Yo, you know what's crazy, right? The first thing he said, I said, I said, yep. But I was like, all right. <laughs> like, uh, um, no, I don't nah. think this is, this is what we're doing right here. Nah. That nigga done bumped his motherfucking yeah, thing. Yeah, T. Diddy wanted to motherfucking hang up on everybody yeah, else. Yeah, shit. I was like, hang the fuck up. <laughs> I need a button. I need a hang up button over We need here. something. We need an and something. something. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. We got to buzz like you out, Like how it dropped baby. them out the floor. We got to buzz you out, baby.
Come on. Bring their ass out the chair. Come on. That nigga that played his motherfucking self. We can't end off off that shit. You on there talking like white power? Yeah, white power. <laughs> white power? <laughs> Talk about, I'm, 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 I'm with wax. I'm with wax. Not with nigga, wax. nigga got a MAGA hat on, a noose. Who's on drugs? Rope. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh my god wow wow i just listened to that that was crazy did you Whack, hear these that? are your fans listen Whack. i don't know nothing <laughs> these are his followers Whack. listen if you're Whack, black these are your people yeah these are your, you're the leader bruh yes he listen. is whoa what the fuck was that of the little short bus community <laughs> <laughs> that was bipolar. Yo, I love you guys. Appreciate it. Yo, Wax, I know. I can't believe I almost got, like, fucking messed up because of that fucking psycho. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Listen. Talk, Wax, talk. L'Oreal, I love yes. you. Don't change a thing. Wax, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Thank I love you. you. L'Oreal, I love you. Keep talking shit to him because he's a mess. Thank he you. He deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to... <clears throat> I want to say thank you to Wax because... I was married for 18 years mm-hmm. to, um, you know, the same man. I never cheated on him. Nothing. Anyway, we're done now, right? We're okay. over. Because I'm out here in the game, out here on these streets, single. Okay. On the app, you know, the whole thing. I know, Wax, it, you're, you're going to come into the story soon, which, damn, I know, it's like crazy. But I want to say thank you because I didn't know how trash men are i had no idea my whole new my new life my single life is is like this whole new experience for me and i feel like listening to wax talk about the shit that he says like and i'm like oh my god this is how men think yes. like it, i i feel like i'm already i'm already like not like getting burned out i'm like yeah. Not, I'm trying to hoe out a little bit because I was with the same person Easy for 18 though. years. So you Easy know, she's got to, she's got to get a little, little something, something happening. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I feel like Wax, your crazy ass has helped me. Like wow, I I understand men so Thank much you. more. And that's what I'm and here for. I'm like a big brother, an uncle yeah. will tell you, yeah, <laughs> so Uncle Wax. Thank you. And you're and you're nuts. But yo, listen, Wax. One time on Tinder, you popped up. Uh, and me? I, I was like, wait, this. This, yo, that's how I discovered you from Tinder. I was like, he looks really familiar. <laughs> I know him from somewhere. I would love to and see this. And I like this. probably from like the the breakfast club. I don't club have or some to, shit, I don't like, know how to do day. it. <laughs> yo, you're on, like, you were on Tinder. I took a Snapchat. Listen, bro. Please send it to me. I Somebody, you. listen. Yo, he's I such definitely a fucking liar. Yo, yo, yo. Listen, Wax, for you real, I'm a liar. I definitely send it to you. Send it to me. Or L'Oreal. Send it to me. We want to see this. This is so great. Listen, I know it's lying because no, number, dude, I don't even know how to get on those apps. You know how he's, you, I know you're telling the truth. I he's can't getting, download shit. He's getting excited. He's really getting excited. Yo. His uh, mic was oh, raised okay. up. Yo, I, I probably, I probably swiped right because I was like, yo, he's cute. Because the, like hat is like covering half your face. You know, it's the whole look, is, like the look great. down and your Whoa. fucking hat and the dress. Did he say yeah, you a dick yeah, pic? So. And, I, and listen, and I'm, listen, and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm gonna put my face no, on No, 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 wax, no, no. Did he no send you a dick pic? No, I didn't, then it might know not if be I him. I right or not. I think I just, I was like, this looks familiar. But I, I don't know, dude. So but good. anyway, you, I have you. I'm gonna send it to you. Please. And um, I looked you up, and I was like, this kid looks familiar. Who is this? And I was like, saw some breakfast club <laughs> share or whatever. You know, you're around. And then that's how I was like, yo, this kid is crazy. Yes, He's he nuts. is. I'm and he is. This and is now great. here we are. And listen. now I'm here talking to you on your show, which I love. You listen, have to listen. go on a date with him. Swipe right, listen. left, front, back, listen. side to no, side. L'Oreal. Listen. L'Oreal. 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 Girl. Wow. She, I listen. can't even believe you're giving me this advice. No, I'm saying this because I... the dildos. Exactly. The and then you got to take right. them. And you got to take them and dump him. You got to just get the bag of dicks. <laughs> and then at least you got a part, you know? <laughs> You just got to use him instead of ordering on Amazon like they were doing the other day. You just go on one date with him, get him to bring the bag of dicks. You can fuck yourself and you had dinner. So that's it. That's what you need to do. I need dildos. This is perfect. I need dick. Exactly. No, no, no. Swipe right. It's vibrators first off. Swipe right. Anything that looks like a penis, it never touches my hand. 
Duh. <laughs> yeah, you are alive, right? You are alive. I don't. I thought you masturbate. No, I'm just saying. My, my own meat, you know what I'm saying? I got a no, piss and shit. You said nothing that looks like a penis has ever touched your hair. I'm not talking about in a dildo <laughs> you world. You said you masturbate. No, in a dildo world, man. In a dildo world, never in a dildo world I had that shit. I had vibrators. Mm-mm. I have vibrators. I put a vibrator in the girl's ass and be going crazy. I put on the clip and I be smashing. The wait, wait, time. wait, wait. So you, so you're like fucking. Put, you're putting the dildo in the ass, but then you're fucking, and then I put one on the clip at the same you, time. Wait, on the clip. Oh, okay, yes. one for the clip. Damn, yes. don't listen to him. That's a lot. That's a lot. You be fucking some. To- no, Real bitches. Yeah, they ready. They ready. <laughs> or, or, or girls, or girls be they, like, yo, I want to try that. I want to do that. And hopefully, people be yeah, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, people hit my DMs and tell me that they they tried it and the girl liked it and stuff like that. A lot of people getting a lot of tips from me. The girl, people with the um, people put their girl heads in the sink. The girls love it. Put the cold water on the girl's face with um. <laughs> no, wait, wait. So, the shit, ice yeah. water waterboarding, fucking, I died when I heard that shit. That shit wow. is good. That shit. Is someone put my face in ice? What? It, no, it's not ice. It's like really, really no. cold water. You probably have a couple ice cubes in there to keep it cold, but that that cold sensation on your face is gonna make you nut fast. I'm glad she's well, smart enough to yeah, know to stay away I from mean, guys. Maybe like I needed this. I need to experiment because I'm just new out here again. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Crazy shit. Don't so, listen yeah, to What him. do you think? Would you do that? Hell no. <laughs> Would you do any? That sounds like <laughs> murder. Wax That's not murder. That <laughs> sounds like somebody trying to murder you. I might have to call the police no. on his ass. No. Listen, you got no. me fucked ice cube. up. Waterboarding. Fucked up. Listen, got... ice cube in the ass. Waterboard. Yeah. What about an ice cube in the ass? Though. If I could put an ice cube in the nigga's ass, then he <laughs> could put one in mine. <laughs> Same time. Nope. 69. Like, you got me fucked up. Hey. <laughs> Where's somebody hey. popping it real fast? I'm so proud of her for saying that, like, you encourage her to stay away from, like, piece of shit like you. Dude, wow. This is, listen, this wow. is my job. I talk to my nieces like this. I, I, I'll be around y'all. I talk to I y'all. I know. I, thank you. This is thank my you. job. You are doing a service to women. Yeah, I, this is what this I do. This is your job. I don't want you out there hoeing. I'm like, ah, right, you're going to end up with a motherfucker like me. This is my. Ew. This is what I preach to you. You better stay with that dude. You better get the fuck out of here. Unless you want some bumps on your uh, pussy. Yeah, you going crazy. Uh, I'm trying, wax. I'm trying to get this body count up. I'm trying to get this no, body count up. No, we don't up, need though. that. We yeah, don't need, listen. Yes, yeah, your baby, whole phase. Get this body count up. Nah, get your nah, whole fuck phase. That. Nah. Listen, you know what your fuck whole phase that. is. I'm trying to get this body count up. Listen, when you juggle two dudes for three months. When you juggle, when you juggle two hey. dudes for three months, it sucks. You're not gonna want to do it no more. You're gonna be ready to get back in the relationship. That shit sucks. Yeah, I'm doing I, that. I, I'm doing that right now. It, watch how fast it ends. I'm doing yeah, that. It's corny. How you like that so it's far? Corny. Now you do. No, no, that shit is dope. Listen, yeah, so I live in New to. York. I never introduced myself. I'm Amy from New York. Hot. And so one of the dudes, yeah, yeah one of the dudes um, is like on tour. And then the other guy lives in Philly. I got a Philly Bay, you know, so mm-hmm. I work in Philly sometimes. I go down there and then I see him. So we're your New York And then one. I have my two dudes. Huh? You, you ain't got no New York Oh, meet? I like her what? lineup. She you got, got a no lineup. You ain't got no New York meet? Nah, oh. fuck New York. Nah, nah, nah. Fuck. I try to stay out, my head out of these, this area. No, no, I, ha- I, I do. I do have a New York. I oh, you do have like a couple New of New York meet. dudes. Okay. Couple. And a couple of people upstate. Damn, and, um, how many fucking guys you got? Yeah, you know what? The fuck is wrong with you? I got shit going on. <laughs> no, that's too much now. <laughs> she's talking about, oh, I got what? Before she no. had none, she's got another fucking relationship. I'm like, she's a good girl. Nigga, this motherfucker got 10 motherfucking years is a long I am time. a good girl. But Wax, I'm done being a good girl. Yeah, I'm that's done. right. No, listen. What being good Wax. did for her? No, Nothing. Stop. I'm done. Man, I know, I know. 18 years. Like, I was such a good girl. She I don't got to make good, up for it. Listen, I understand She's that. making up for it. I don't even want to be in a relationship. Make I don't want to be in a relationship make anymore. Up, no, <laughs> whole face. Whole face. No, no. It's hurting my feelings. Whole face. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why? No, but what if one of these Wags, guys got it. something? Listen, but what if one of these guys got something and you spread it all around? Condom. And you... Condom. Uh, yeah. uh, hello, duh. Condom. Uh, it's because he da, fucks da, everybody oh, raw. That's not true. Yeah, the whole, yeah, they're always trying to fuck raw. Like, really? That's what Wax does wow. with all his Trash, trash, yeah. trash, trash. All right, but please be safe. Oh, and, my and God. Hopefully, hopefully you don't do this too Thank much Thank you, longer. Wax. Thank you. Yes, I don't want you to do this too Wax, much longer. you're dope. 
I hope I swipe. I want to. I'm gonna try to find you again. Please swipe don't right. fuck him. No, please. Listen, listen. Don't. What I want you to do? Oh I my God, Lori Al, girl, never. Thank never. you. I love you, Waxo, but you. Yeah. I know deep down you're a good, good. I'm a real person. good guy, but no, I see you in church. You're wrong. Yes. I see you in church yes. at the drum set. Yes. Like I love, you know, I'm a yes. church girl. I love mm -hmm. it. I'm so happy. If you for come you. this way, I'm gonna smash and you and go never talk to you again. I know. I'm not trying to See? come that way. Yeah, I, like, that. I get it. I know yeah. you're a good boy, though. Yep. You I'm are a, a good, good person. And L'Oreal, I love you. You put thank up with so much. Thank and you. I, your, I need your that. show is my favorite show. <laughs> I need, and thank you guys you are so killing much. it. Thank I you put so up much. With so thank much. Your you. service thank to the single girls. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I can't wait till your stage is over. I hate wax. I, I just want to make you, it wax. clear. <laughs> I Shut hate. Up. I love wax. I hate wax. All right, listen. Can, can you make sure L'Oreal? <laughs> uh, listen. Bye. Make, make, make sure they make sure they get that screenshot. L'Oreal front size. I got you. Perfect. Right. I got you. All right. Bye. <laughs> I like Amy. Let's replace listen, her with I'm wax. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't even know the fuck. I know how to get on them apps. <laughs> you yeah. a liar. I don't My know nigga, how to you're get on, on them Instagram. Apps. I don't. Yo, could you tell him? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I get locked out every time. Right now, if you take my shit off right now, I'm fucked. Wax, you have fake retard, so you can have people do stuff for you, but you know how to do that shit. Right. And you do. You knew how to send that dick pic to that little girl. You Stop, lucky man. She, you lucky she 25 you now. She, say stuff that she said it. Dangerous. She said she was doing her homework. Yeah. That you don't sound sketchy. Everybody. That shit didn't sound sketchy. All right. I was doing my homework and he sent me a dick pic. Wow. Meat. <laughs> she said it. Homework and meat was just, I was doing homework. Bow, meat. That's right. not what she said? I hear you what you said, but you know, yeah. Okay, that's what she said. It's hot. It's All hot. All right. All right, well. Stay away from them girls. Show me my meat. Mute wax. Show me my meat. Mute wax. Show me my meat. You just showed me a picture of her sending it to you. Are you lying? This girl's on drugs. <laughs> All right. So we're going right. to go. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you for listening. Make sure y'all rate, yes. review, subscribe. All that good shit. Continue to support us. Follow us that. on Bully and the Beast podcast. Mm -hmm. So you know when to call in. Hot. And the number? It's 347-679-6118. Okay, so that's for next time because yeah. you didn't say it at the beginning oh, of who's on drugs. I but didn't. it's okay. Mm -mm, it's you okay. didn't. That's all right. So they're going to call Plug for it. next week. And um, that's it. We out. Why are you over here talking? Well, that's the point of a podcast. Oh, peace.